This is Max McGee on the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab. You are looking at a live picture of our roof camera at Bowley's on the Bay. This is, again, this is a roof shot. Now, the workers were leading us through the parking lot in order to get to a safe spot. And this is a, a big Chevy SUV, and the water is about, I'd say, about four to five inches high. But you, as you can see, K2 is driving around, and that marina, it, that water is not supposed to be this high, and the water above, above, right under those boats is not supposed to be that high. Otherwise, 654 customers affected with power outages near a Bowley's quarters. If we see anything in your neck of the woods, be sure to tag us on Twitter at MaxBeGeeTV and on WJZ.com. We're going to send it back inside to meteorologist Chelsea Andrew for a look at the weather. Chelsea. Max, thank you so much for providing us with that video and just kind of being our eyes outside where it's really not safe to be out and about if you live near an area where tidal flooding is ongoing. Let's show you a look at the bigger picture here on radar first. So this is a massive system. You can just follow the spin all the way down into the Tennessee Valley. We're catching the brunt of the system right now, and it's not even going to entirely exit as we head into part one of the weekend. It's going to take a little while. Meanwhile, we've got some pretty heavy bands of rain that are moving through the city. You can see some of the more red and orange colors. That's your heavier rain, folks. And we've got some areas of green. That's the lighter stuff. But even in portions of the northern eastern shore, we've got some heavy downpours that are ongoing. Take a look at places like Riviera Beach, even into Dundalk. You guys are getting hit with some pretty heavy rain at this point in time. We'll take you through the next several hours. Temperatures aren't going to be changing too much just because of the way the atmosphere is with the rain and the clouds. But the winds have subsided significantly. Significantly. Otherwise, we're talking about the issue of coastal flooding and tidal flooding. This has nothing to do with the rain that's falling, but look at all of these coastal flood warnings in effect for the western shore of the bay, the eastern shores of the bay, all the way down into Ocean City and even the Delaware beaches. We are seeing tidal anomalies just unlike anything that we've seen in quite some time. Next high tide in Ocean City, right around 3.39 a.m. Next high tide in Cambridge, just before noon tomorrow. Next high tide in Annapolis, right around 1.02 a.m. You're looking at the next high tide, Tolchester Beach, 2.46 a.m., and then also Havre de Grace. Next high tide, well, that's coming up in just a few minutes here, 5.31 p.m. So not only are we talking about the tides, we are also covering an issue with the winds that is still, even though it's subsided for portions of central Maryland, it's ongoing for some parts of Maryland, including Ocean City. So for more on that, we'll send things over to Bob Turk for the details. Bob? All right, we've got some precip photos here. You see, we've had it, air puts now up to 1.74 inches, by the way. A lot more south and west of us, a lot less to the east of us. Well, this will be updated, of course, but some areas are seeing a lot more rain than other areas. So it's been here and there. Peak wind gusts we've seen in Naples, 47, BWR Marshall, 41, Essex, 37, Westminster, 33, Hagerstown, west, a lot less, 32. The wind advisory has been lifted for the Baltimore region. It's still in effect for you folks in Delaware, the eastern shore there in southern Jersey. Along the coast, still have high wind. Wind warnings for those winds could gust over 50, maybe even as high as 60 miles an hour. Well, we haven't seen it. The forecast, Ocean City, later tonight, the winds come way down to only 15, 16, 13 miles an hour by the morning. So things will be calming down. Future cash showing all this precip moving out here by 7 or 8 tonight. That's the good news. And during the day tomorrow, guess what? We'll see some sunshine. Yes, we will see some sun tomorrow. Maybe some scattered shower activity still around the region. But we do expect to see some brightening of the sky during the day tomorrow. So if you're out there during the day tomorrow, we'll see some, at least some sunshine. Low temperature tonight, in the 50s most places, and it won't be very chilly until the end of the week. As you look ahead, there you see it. 60s tomorrow for most places, a few lingering showers with temperatures still close to normal, but we're going to get chilly by the end of the 70 forecast. So I've got coming up for you, okay? All right, something we'll watch. Right. Bob, 